What is going on guys, Grave here today. Let's talk about something the community has been discussing for a while, and that is should the Elder Scrolls Online be a cross-play game between PC and console? And the short answer is definitely not. Uh, I do not believe it would work correctly. There's several reasons why it won't. I'm gonna go over some of the reasons today. I will say this kind of as a side note, I think they should do cross-play between consoles on the Elder Scrolls Online. So things like PlayStation, Xbox, and Stadia could play together. But when it comes to adding PC into the mix, it's never going to work, and I definitely do not see Zoss ever doing it. And if they do, they're going to have a lot of problems, but they've already stated in the past that they have no plans whatsoever to do this. One reason that PC and console would not work together in crossplay is the economy, and this is one really big reason. Sometimes, of course, prices may differ on PlayStation or Xbox, but price differences between PlayStation, Xbox, and PC are drastic. I'm not sure if any of you watch PC players, follow uh, PC players maybe on Twitch, uh, YouTube, whatever the case may be. But if you ever see the prices in just gear items, uh, prices in gold mats, prices in furniture items, they are drastically different, like I said, between console and PC. Also, when it comes to trading or selling gold for crowns, the price on console is a lot lower than it is on PC. So just in general, the economy is so different that it would never mesh right if you put PC and console players together. The economy difference is huge. Uh, the gold difference, the amount of gold that a lot of PC players have, the amount of gold that a lot of these PC uh, trader guilds sell per week is a massive difference compared to what you see here on console. So economy is one big thing of why crossplay would never work with console and PC. The second thing is going to be add-ons versus no add-ons. And I'm not sure how everyone feels about add-ons. So people say it's cheating that PC players have it too easy. Some say it's fine. I really don't care if they use add-ons. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. But the difference is PC players would still have add-ons, console players would not. We're not ever going to have the option to really have the add-ons like they do because a lot of those come from third-party sources. They don't come directly from Zoss. And you would still have the issue of the PC players would have all their add-ons while the console players would not. And so we are going to see that as a disadvantage because if you have some of these add-ons, it's going to help you with the DPS, uh, help you with learning things differently than you would here on console. And that could be a problem for, you know, people queuing certain things or wanting to do certain things. Maybe it would be a disadvantage, I guess you might say, to console players. Because some people would say, well, we'll just get the PC players to go because they're going to be able to, you know, do more of whatever. It's also going to be an issue when it comes to PvP uh, add-ons versus no add-ons. It's just a big difference between playing with add-ons and not playing with add-ons. And like I said, I really don't have a problem with it. I know a lot of people out there do. But... It's just never going to work between uh, one group of players having add-ons and the other not. Another thing is going to be server issues. You think about the server issues we have on each individual platform. I don't care what you play on, whether it be the PlayStation, the Xbox, the Stadia, or the PC. There's always server issues between the North America and the EU servers on some platform at some time. Imagine combining all of these uh, players, all of these different platforms, onto one North America and one EU server. I just can't ever see the game running properly. Like I said, they have trouble enough at times now letting it, you know, something, some things go wrong or, you know, letting something happen with an update and it messes up, you know, the Xbox server or the PlayStation server or the PC server. I just don't think they could ever really be able to manage all of those players on one server with all the issues that each individual platform has. And then it would be a, an issue of this server would be shut down and, just because PlayStation or Xbox or PC has a problem. The other players really don't have anything going on within you know their particular platform, but in general, the game would have to be shut down just to fix all the issues. And as we know, a lot of times daily, the, the different servers are shut down on different platforms. So that would be something that would be going on all the time for all of us and all at once. So I, I, I just don't see these servers ever working correctly. And we all know how laggy Cyrodiil is. Uh, but no matter what you play on, Cyrodiil has its problems. And I could not see Cyrodiil working uh, cross-platform wise and just that would just be absolutely chaotic and crazy i think on my in my opinion anyway on the cyrodiil server end uh, when it comes to the last thing i kind of want to talk about and there's many other reasons but that would be the way they do updates and of course the public test server pc always gets the updates first as you all know and the public test server would still be there and we not we would not be able to participate in that public test server here on console i made a separate video about this a while back talking about why we don't have the public test server on uh, console Kind of a, a quick reason sony and microsoft have to approve updates from everybody that makes games on console so when it comes to an update it has to be approved sometimes it could take days sometimes it could take weeks when it comes to the public test server on pc they don't have to improve it with anyone so as soon as they want to make a change on the test server they make the change and it goes live 
So in other words, we would never have the option still to be able to play in the public test server if the game was cross-play. It would still just be the PC players being able to you know, participate in it. So once again, when it comes to fairness, that's not really going to be something that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy. I think people think, oh, well, we'll cross-play, we'll be able to have the public test server on all platforms. It would still not work. Only PC would still be able to participate in that. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Do you want to have cross-play in the Elder Scrolls Online? Like I said, I, I'm, I'm definitely against it. The only way that I would be for it is if it was just consoles playing together uh, cross-platform and not PC because PC and console are never really going to work together. Sad, but it's true. I know a lot of people out there will kind of like to see it, but I really do think Zoss could probably do something to add the consoles together in the end, and they may do that eventually. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.